I'm Tori, and this is my model, Jasmine, and today I'm going to show you how to do some really nice, tight beat-in braids with edge control, and yes, you can pancake them to get them nice and big, and they can still be tight. We're going to get right into the part, so I took a little bit of our edge booster, and I'm going to do a straight line of it right down the part. If my part isn't totally perfect, I can still go through with... Um, my comb in a sec and even it out from there I like to go in with a little more edge control around all of the sides it's really good to split the hair in half that you're using and do a little bit of edge control down the middle it helps it really keep a nice tight braid so as I start I'm gonna make sure that I have the area that I'm working with nice and combed I'm starting with a long a larger section of feed-in hair than sometimes you guys are used to using. Um, that's because this is going to be a larger style of braid and I want to get it pretty big right in the beginning. And anytime you need to hide um, their hair with the feed-in hair, you can also feel free to use a tiny bit of edge control to get it hidden in there especially if you're looking to cover up the color of their natural hair never feel too stressed out in a feed in that if you're getting some of their hair coming through really just go ahead and start tucking it behind your extra hair for this style I did wait until the end of this section of braid to pancake um, because we added in so much hair it's not as crucial that you do it as you're braiding if you're adding in a lot less hair or they want like mainly their natural hair showing um definitely probably look into pancaking like we usually tell you of as you go through it i'll probably use uh, just a hair of hairspray over um i wouldn't focus on their hair at all with it because Alcohol is a drying agent that's in hairspray and we want to make sure that this stays nice and silky and doesn't dry out anyone's hair. Do the same thing again on this side. always kind of good to ask the client too if they're doing it more for the color or for like the length and volume if they're doing it for the length and volume you don't need to be as particular about getting their hair hidden I'm gonna grab the pink and I'm gonna pull it and it tightens it just enough that when it'll be fluffed out you're really not going to see the loop. You could do this with a pull through tool but I'm going to use my fingers to make sure that I get all of our feet in here pulled through. So I got three sections of shimmers. I'm adding them just like feet in hair. 